Hi guys, Miss Venable here, bringing you a quick lesson on the crisscross method of writing chemical formulas for MgCl2. So in this little tutorial, you're going to learn how to write a formula unit, what we just call a formula, and we are doing it for a binary ionic compound, which means that it has only monatomic ions in it. So let's get started. Step one is you're going to write the cation. The cation is usually the metal, and they're going to be found on the uh, left-hand side of your periodic table. And so our ion here is magnesium. Now, you've got to figure out the charge for your ion. All ions have charges. Metals always give away their valence electrons. Um, so if you locate where your metal is, in your periodic table, here's magnesium. I can see that it's got two valence electrons because the Roman numeral there is a two and it gives them away. So that means it has a charge of two plus. Then you write your anion and your anion is gonna be a non-metal for ionic compounds. And so over here is my anion for chlorine. And I can see that if I look at the top of the column here, that its Roman numeral is a seven. And nonmetals always gain valence electrons when they form ions, and they want to create a stable octet. So um, it needs to have eight electrons to be stable. So it's going to gain one electron. That means that its charge is going to be a one minus. Remember, electrons are negative. So I've written my magnesium ion, I've written my chloride ion, and when, by the way, when you write the negative ion chlorine, the ending changes to, to ide, so it's not chlorine, it's chloride. Alrighty, and step two, we're gonna cancel the positive and negative because all ionic compounds, once they bond and they transfer their electrons, uh, they will be neutral in the end, so just go ahead and ignore that positive and negative. Step three, we're going to crisscross. So the two comes down to be the subscript for the chlorine, and the one comes down to be the subscript for the magnesium, and they, they switch. Um, and this is going to tell us, instead of telling us about the electrons, now it's telling me how many ions do I need of that type to bond together. So right now I have Mg with a subscript one and Cl with a subscript two. Uh, step four, we want to reduce those subscripts. Uh, so a one and a two, we can't reduce that ratio any lowest, but we're writing a formula unit for a great big crystalline solid, and so we just want to represent the lowest ratio of the possible ions. If you can't reduce, then you can't reduce. Step five, if you have a subscript after it's reduced, uh, if you have a subscript that is a one, you don't write ones, they're understood. Um, if you don't write the one, it means one. If you just write the MG here, that means one ion. And step six, if we had a polyatomic ion and we had included parentheses, we would need to erase those parentheses for anything that had a one. So this is the final step. And if you can't see it, the, um, the name of this compound is magnesium chloride. So when you're naming these binary ionics, it's pretty simple. Uh, you just name the ions. And there's a little more trick to it, that, a few more tricks to it than that, but that's the basics of it. All right, this has been how to do the crisscross method for a binary ionic compound like magnesium chloride. Thanks for joining me.